You finally made it to the big time. Congratulations. And now purchasing that requisite executive sedan is the logical next step. Now other members of your club are either driving around in an S class or seven series, but you, you wanna go in a slightly different direction. Well, the all new Lexus LS might just be the alternative you're looking for. Since its inception nearly 30 years ago, the LS has dutifully played the role of a conservatively styled flagship sedan. But that approach has been upended here. This LS is all up in your grill with one of the brashest front ends you'll ever see. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I ever put a front license plate on it? Absolutely not. So where I live in New York, that's a problem. It's longer and lower, and in this upcharge manganese luster paint atop these optional 20-inch wheels, it really presents a stunning design that's feeding the heartbeat of the reborn Lexus brand. Yes, it kind of looks like designers ran out of inspiration once they got to the rear, but all told, this is a head-turner. This all-wheel drive example is the only LS that tops the scales at over 5,000 pounds, making it considerably heavier than the outgoing model. But its stiffer platform, longer wheelbase, new twin-turbo V6, and latest chassis control technology makes this LS more of a driver's car than ever before. Performance is derived from a 3.5-liter engine with big gains in output. 416 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque, helping lop off nearly a full second from its 0 to 60 sprint, now down into the mid fours and about four tenths slower than that with all-wheel drive. My car uses the optional air suspension for an even smoother ride and rapid height adjustability, making for a more graceful exit. Sport S and Sport S Plus driving modes produce an enhanced exhaust note in the cabin and a friskier feel from behind the wheel where the LS delights with its organically engineered big car handling dynamics. It feels light and willing to do what it's told with effortless acceleration and honed steering. All of these executive sedans now deliver this exceptional balance of luxurious ride and sporty handling but the LS prefers to flaunt its racier side, a new direction for the LS. Now that's not to say it isn't quiet and soft when you want it to be, but its new 10-speed transmission and aggressive 20-inch run flats don't produce quite the level of Lexus sumptuousness you might think. In the rarefied air of $115,000 flagship sedans, the LS's powertrain smoothness and supple ride quality aren't quite there with the segment leader, the Mercedes S-Class. But it is more fun to drive fast if in fact that's something you want from a car like this. The LS shows off a decidedly new sporty flavor from behind the wheel, manufactured racy engine sounds and all. It is this car's most distinguishing trait. And you won't miss the old V8. This new twin turbo V6 is a sweetheart engine that pulls eagerly each time you hit the accelerator pedal. The 10-speed auto is also manipulated nicely in the various drive modes. It's a big car that knows how to handle a curvy road with grace. Now, all of that being said, and having already driven the updated S-Class earlier this year, there's really nothing about the LS that feels cooler or more advanced than that car. Say, for instance, if I were to give the S560's ride quality a 10, I would probably give the LS's a 9. So, in just about every aspect, the LS feels like it is just a step behind. These types of cars don't just stop at pleasing the driver. It's actually back here where a good portion of the oh wow moments occur. For instance, here in the LS, these rear seats are multi-contour power operated, including an ottoman and, of course, massage. It should be noted that these features are included in one of the most expensive packages I've ever seen. The $23,000 executive package with Curico glass adds in the softer leather, 28-way power front seats with amazing massage choices, four-zone climate control, rear seat knee airbags, and of course, this beautiful combination of Japanese Kiriko glass and hand-pleated door trim. 
It's a wonderful place to spend time and relax to the sounds of the optional 23 speaker, 2400 watt Mark Levinson reference surround sound system. But how did Lexus miss the opportunity for an interior light show? There are two lame color themes to choose from, but as for the wild ambient lighting offered by its competitors, the Lexus is lacking. It would have added so much. So here's this really sharp looking sedan with sporting intentions and a gorgeous cabin. And then there's this mess. And it's a shame to see a really cumbersome entertainment system bring down an entire car, but that's in fact what has happened here. From these Atari era bonging sounds it makes to its lack of Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, this is definitely the LS's biggest fail. The screen is enormous and it looks great, but trying to navigate this while driving is distracting and frustrating. On the other hand, the new optional 24-inch heads-up display is the biggest, brightest, and most info-packed I've ever tested. It's really incredible. The optional safety system brings a taste of autonomous driving with radar cruise control and steering assist, but unless you've got Cadillac Super Cruise with hands-free highway driving, you're playing in the minor leagues. And it may be stupid, but you know what else I miss? A nighttime Lexus logo projection. Available in rear or all-wheel drive and in racier F-Sport or greener hybrid trims, pricing starts at just under $80,000. This one checks in at 115720 Gas mileage is rated at 21 MPG in combined driving on premium. The recently updated S-Class is more my type, but Lexus has certainly recrafted the LS into something special and different. For testdrivenow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.